This is shaping up to be a decisive week for Barack Obama. It could be, in fact, make or break for his administration's campaign for a military strike against Syria. And he has a personal stake, too. The president is giving an unprecedented set of interviews today on U.S. television. And what happens over the next days could be crucial for the remainder of his presidency. John Northcott, there you see on your left, he's going to be digging deeper into the Obama politics in just a minute. But when the American president hits the airwaves tonight, we're going to be talking about that. He's going to be battling it out with Bashar al-Assad in terms of viewers because the Syrian president has also given a rare interview to a U.S. network. And there's Nala Ayed, who is right there in the region uh, as that gets set to air. Nala is in Beirut this morning. And good to see you on this, Nala. It's going to be airing pretty much as we speak, Nala, in the United States. What do we have any sense of what Bashar al-Assad has said? Well, what we know for certain, according to CBS, is that he is trying to do pretty much what Barack Obama is doing, which is speak directly to the American people. Right from the beginning of this, Heather, uh, the regime in Syria has repeatedly talked about public opinion as being one reason why the West should not attack Syria, as among other reasons. Uh, and so now we're hearing the president of Syria say that uh, exactly. In addition to that, he is repeating again that he believes he, his regime and himself are not responsible for any chemical weapons attack. Uh, he's, he calls the entire um, body of evidence that the uh, Americans have uh, presented that he was responsible as a, uh, a big lie and akin to what happened in the lead up to the attack against Iraq. And so back, you know, 10 years ago, and he says it's exactly the same kind of scenario. He also hinted that he and his allies, you know, he has a few in this region, would be ready to retaliate should the U.S. make the decision go ahead. Head. So some pretty strong words from the Syrian president today. And although we haven't heard the full interview, some of the uh, statements already circulating and have caught the ears of the Obama administration, the Secretary of State John Kerry has already responded now. Mm -hmm. Yes, he was in London with uh, Foreign Minister uh, 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 William Hague and uh, basically exchanged back the accusation of lying and basically said that uh, he felt that there was still very strong evidence that Bashar al-Assad's regime was responsible for the chemical attack and that the, uh, basically said that this man's words should not be believed. Here's a little bit of what Kerry said about Assad. This is a man who's just killed through his regime over a thousand of his own citizens, over 100,000 or about 100,000 have been murdered over the course of the last months. He sends Scud missiles into schools. He sends airplanes to napalm children. Everybody has seen that. This is a man without credibility. Basically, he also spoke about, the, uh, hinted in fact that if Assad were to hand over his cache of chemical weapons, that that would avert a strike uh, with the West. He also reiterated again, Heather, as Obama will be for the next uh, 24 hours or longer, that whatever strike comes from the U.S. would be limited, not aimed at regime change, it would not be war, and that it would be narrow in focus.